Hello my viewers. I've been getting a lot of messages and email asking me to do a video about heat pumps. Um, there are many different brands and, and types of heat pumps. Although they all function in the same basic way, there are many different types of control systems for them. Let me show you some right now. Okay, let's take a look at this Addison heat pump condensing unit. This is the first stage of two in this heat pump. Right here, this is compressor number one. And over here is compressor number two. Down here is the section line accumulator for the first stage compressor. And then over here is the uh, suction line accumulator for the second stage compressor. Right here is the reversing valve for the first stage compressor. And then over here is the second stage reversing valve. Here are the controls for this heat pump. Here we have a step down transformer that brings the voltage down from 480 volts to 240 volts. Here we have the contactor for the first stage compressor. This is the contactor for the second stage compressor. Here's the contactor for the condensing fan motor. This is a phase monitor. This is a phase monitor that makes sure that we have all three phases of power. Here are some time delays right here. Here's a terminal strip for the low voltage wiring. And here's another controlled transformer. This one steps down from 480 volts to 24 volts of power. And of course here's a fuse block. DR means defrost relay. Right here we have the defrost timer. And over here is the defrost relay. You'll probably see some of these items here. These are fuse holders. Okay. They should be checked. Anytime you have the system go down, is half the time that's the problem anyway. Here we have some cube relays that control the system because it is a heat pump. And, I mean, for example, this is your heat relay right there. And as old and ugly as it may seem, here's a carrier heat pump. Right here is the compressor, old 6D uh, compressor right here, and in there is the reversing valve. Um, now this, the controls in this look a bit different than the Addison we just looked at. Here's the defrost timer right here. Here's the control transformer. Uh, here's a here's a time delay. Here's the condensing fan motor relays up there. And uh, this is the compressor contactor. Um, over here are the heating relays for the reversing valve coils. And uh, right here is here's the run capacitors for the fan motors. This is a breaker for the compressor in case if it were to overamp, it would trip. And of course there's a terminal block. And here's the terminal strip for the low voltage. Here's something you pretty much have to deal with all the time. Is 
wiring diagrams that have deteriorated to where they're almost worthless. And then a lot of times with these old systems, you can't even find the wiring diagrams online. Pretty much have to just know where everything goes. All right, all right. Enough of the commercial stuff. Now, let me show you a typical residential heat pump. Well, here's my own heat pump at home. Let's look to see what is different from a straight cool and a heat pump. Now, a heat pump, for starters, the liquid line filter dryer always has to be bi-directional if it's in the liquid line. Okay, looking down into my condensing unit, you'll see the workings of the heat pump. And right there is the defrost thermostat. It's connected to the liquid line here at the condensing unit. It performs to keep the head pressure from getting too high during the defrost cycle. And here's the reversing valve, which is pretty much the telltale sign of whether you have a heat pump or a straight cool system. And another item that is generally not in a straight cool system is a suction line accumulator, which is what we have right here. Another item we don't have in a condensing unit in a straight cool system and we do in a heat pump is the restrictor which in this case is a piston which is a fixed orifice. Now here in the control panel on the condensing unit, here's my defrost board right there. And I have a run capacitor, contactor, and here's my low voltage terminal strip. And of course the grounding lug. The residential Heat pump controls are generally not as complex as they are on a commercial size system.